Hey everybody. I uh, thought I would get into more details about what Buxby is in terms of the frameworks and the full objective of what it is. So I said in the previous video that it's free. It's created by the people that choose to use it. And so in essence, what happens is the, the amount of money that's available in an economy is purely based on how people exchange with each other or, or the amount that they exchange what they do for and that creates a really robust base to base a currency on base base that's funny anyway um Instead of basing it on, instead of basing a currency on gold or shells or something, which creates the commodity side of money, in Buxby it's all about what is created that gives it give that gives it its value. Some people, anyway. On top of all of that, there's um, in the structure, everyone is paid to be educated. So a teacher, and it doesn't matter how many students are, are taught, they all get paid a set amount. I'm thinking it right now it's probably good to base it at around 60 bucks fee an hour, just to keep it simple, but everybody would get that. Uh, that's not hard and fast, it's just something I'm working with. Uh, on to also, any infrastructure that's, that needs to be built in a community, the bank pays for. So um, there's no need for tax because the bank will pay for it. And it's only in these times when it's, something is based around community that the, the bank will create money. But that's only because it's paying the people that are doing the job and that they're not going to get a return on that work. So in that case, it doesn't matter. And also, of course, running the bank uh, is paid by the bank itself as well. But as there's no financial instruments or speculating on currency, all it's really doing is really um, tabulating what's being exchanged. That would be done on a crypto. I'm thinking of using Holochain because it's editable. But, but because the currency is based on these things, there's far less incentive to try and strip the market or try and get more Buxby than what you have. Because in Buxby, the price mechanism changes. In normal usury currency, I'll get to the definition of usury later, um, because it's a commodity, there's an incentive to try and get as much as you can. But in Buxby, you're, you're the money. What you do is the money. And trying to shortchange it really only implies that you don't understand your wealth, your own wealth of what you can create. That's why in the Buxby communities that use it, you're paid to be educated. So many people don't have access to education and that disempowers people. So that's why it's built into the model. There's also an incentive because of how it's designed that people will create more sustainably. We are status-seeking animals. If we want to, in again, in usury world, um, we create status by what we have, or etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's all about dominion and ownership. But in Buxby. Your, your difference is how you create sustainably, how well you use resources to be able to empower other people. That's the framework and what it works with. About usury, usury really means any interest or costs in using a currency. This was recently changed to any exorbitant interest, which makes people think that there's always going to be a cost on money, which means it will always be a commodity. This is a mistake. It's not like this at all. And you're being hoodwinked to think that that's real, which it's not. 
so Buxby returns empowerment to the people because it doesn't own the people. You're the bank. You own the bank. Someone said to me, it sounds like uh, Buxby is a co-op, and the bank itself certainly is. And even in, uh, well, again, this is something I'm still working with, in having a business to create something, you are, um, when you're supporting someone to make that because it's deemed worthy by the community to make it your way, um, you're hiring people as their own businesses. And again, you would negotiate what prices they're worth, etc., etc. But there's far more value about the quality that people create and their capacity to do this. And if they're not up to speed with what they uh, want to do, but it's what they really want to do, education is paid for to be able to do it. So, yeah, it's all about being sustainable. That's the key, as weird as people may think that is or that it's not possible. You might think that the people with a whole lot of money are doing this now, but look at how many people want to be sustainable with the resources that they have, but they simply don't have the network to be able to do that. Buxby is a, is a exchange model that gives that power to people to do that. I've got some ideas on how to implement Buxby. I'll do that in uh, another video. These things are getting too long. Okay, um, peace, take care.